back to the channel. Being in there, we checking out the way again. Oh, okay, moving on. So, what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you a full on exclusive list on everything that you need to have when starting your motherfucking nail journey. And even if you don't want to be a nail team, you just want to do your own nail thing. Follow me now. Let's get it. So, the first thing you want to have when you start doing nails, you want to have an armrest. This is self-explanatory, literally. It's already doing the clinic arm up there. Rest it up, rest it up, arm rest. This is key thing you need. It's a dust collector. I'm trying to tell you what I know now. When I didn't have a dust collector, I used to get dust all in my lungs and I was not able to breathe, sleep, talk for an entire week. And it literally took me, don't judge me, judge yourself. Two years to get a dust collector. I mean, I had one at first, but the one I had, it broke, and then I didn't want to buy another one. And there you go, you suffer the consequences for your own actions. So, moving on, I ended up getting a dust collector. This one here I got from Amazon. I think this one was like $35, $40. Pretty, pretty inexpensive, so yeah. So you want to have a dust collector. Next, if you want to do, if you're working with gel polish, you want to make sure you have an actual gel polish lamp. This one here, what is 24W to 48W. So you don't have to get one this low in power. You can get one higher in power. But this is what I have right now. I actually have a backup one as well. Next thing you want to have is paper towels. Now, when it comes to paper towels, honestly, it's what you feel works best for you. Me, I use Bounty. Sometimes I use Viva, but they also have like those mechanical paper towels, like blue that you get at AutoZone. You get those too. Those actually soak up the monomer really, really good. So, right now, what I have here is Bounty, but the top two is Viva and the one that you get from AutoZone. So, get you some of those because that will literally limit the use of the paper towels. Remember, when you're doing them, you want to use as least amount of products as possible, so therefore, you ain't going to buy, going around buying and buying and buying. Don't be like me, be better than me. You wanna go around buying and buying and buying and buying. Cause that's all I see myself doing is buying and buying and buying. God dang, man, I'm always buying something. But moving on. Then you wanna get you some straight edge nail clippers, like this here. And these nail clippers here, they just basically clip the size of your nail straight. You don't want to get those nail clippers that's like those old back in the day nail clippers that got like a little curve because then you're not going to have like that straight, sharp to the T look. You make sure you want to get one of those too, okay? So make sure you get one of these straight edge nail clippers you get them from Amazon. And right here, what I have is a nail file. This is a hundred, hundred, I mean hundred and eight, one eighty. I personally don't like one eighty. I prefer one hundred. But it's just totally up to you. Like, this is what I have in my storage, in my collection right now. So, 100, 180 nail files. You see that these are straight edge. I also have some of these. Straight edge. I also have some of these as well. Not really my go-to because I like to just go straight up and down. And I just got a little mini little storage area. I just, you know, hold the nail files in there. You know, just to have a little organization. Get the organization going on. Then you want to have one of your little dust brushes. Now, I ain't talking about people, but this, this can't do nothing for me. This just for look, honestly. I need to get the dust off your hands. So I need one of these. These is kind of like, they kind of like a little bit of Rugged, rough, a little bit, but not too rough. It just makes sure that all of the dust is off your nail. This little bitty thing right here can only do so much. No shame. Next, you want to get you some little nail tips, fingers, nail fingertips. These are pretty decent. As you can see, that they have that little nice, perfect finger. You can get some of those to practice if you don't want to do like the full hand. Next, you want to get one of these. This is a nail trainer here. This is good for when you are doing, when you are a beginner doing nails because you're not going to be doing nails on other people's hands. You're going to be doing nails on your own hand or on your practice hand. Unless you have some people that's willing to do for you to practice on. But I'm pretty sure jumping right out the gate, you're going to be practicing on yourself and on your hand. So get you one of these nail trainers here. They are actually really, really good. All right, so next what you want to do is you want to remove the smell from your house as much as possible. So what you see me here is I have a little bit of things I use. 
What I don't have right now, because it actually, it actually fell in a dumpster when I was putting out the trim, which is, don't judge me, I don't even know why they even have it. But yeah, so you wanna have these three things are essential. You see I have a counter burning already right here. This is a counter my sister got from Walmart. It is cranberry mandarin. And honestly, these candles here, they actually burn really loud, so you smell really loud. The humidifier here, I got this from Amazon as well. It just releases some of the chemical smell and stuff. And next, what I have is some incense. Let me show you these here. I have just like three left, but I got these from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I think it's like 10 for five dollars or something like that. Something like that. So yeah, get you some incense. And then this is another candle I got right here from Target. So mostly, this here will reduce the smell when you're doing them. Me personally, I prefer to have all three going at the same time. I would have like two candles burning, my humidifier going, and my incense candle. And another thing I use for my incense candle is to time how fast I am going with the coat of nail. So if I'm like prepping a nail, I want my incense candle to be one fourth burn. But when I'm doing the nail, I want to finish my nails completely done before my incense burn out. So that's how I also use my incense too and to incorporate into my nail business as well. So try to get you some of these. Yeah, I know the humidifier can be a little expensive but you can't afford it right now. Just get you some candles, get you some incense, but this basically can reduce so much smell in your house because you don't want your house to smell like a nail salon all day, especially when you're coming in and out trying to have to spend time with your family, kids, whoever you with, you know, so get you some of these, they're very good. Moving on to everything you're gonna need when you're doing acrylic nail. Okay, let's get it done. First things first, you can't do no nails if you don't have no money. So, I know this model right here is a little bit on the expensive side. This model can range between $85 to $100, just depending on how the vendor feels, I guess, because sometimes I pay $85, sometimes I pay $100, but, I think this monomer here for me is a 10 out of 10 and I've tried multiple monomers for multiple people and 10 out of 10. And not only that, the, the smell is not as strong as most monomers is. And this also pairs well with a lot of monomers, but if you're a beginner nail tech and you want to get some affordable monomer, I suggest getting me a secret monomer. It is loud in smell. It does pair well with almost every acrylic brand, so you can get that. But if you get all the incense and stuff, like I said, to get in, it really won't make a difference with what monomer you use. Because like I said, to me, a secret monomer is their highest smell. But if you're burning this type of thing, then you, you really should be good to go. Next, you want to get some clear acrylic. Me, personally, this is my favorite brand of clear acrylic to use, which is me a secret. It does not dry fast. I am an advocate of me. I guess I'm the type of person, I like to chase my acrylic, so. I like to chase my acrylic. This is pretty good, I actually like this. Also, you wanna get you some Cover Nude. This here is a Men's Secret Cover Nude Powder. Nude Blush Acrylic Powder, and this is a one ounce. Let me see this. This one is a four ounce, it's clear acrylic for four ounce. This acrylic is a four ounce, and then you also want to get you some colored acrylic if you want to start working with colored acrylic. Now, mind you, you don't have to jump out the gate using colored acrylic. This one here is yellow. You don't have to jump out the gate using colored acrylic. Honestly, you see this gel polish right back here. If you really want to, you can just use gel polish in the form of colored acrylic. You can still encapsulate it and everything like that. If y'all want to video on how to ombre with gel polish or how to encapsulate with gel polish. Let me know in the comments and um, I will definitely do that. Next, what you're gonna need is a dapping dish. Now, I ain't gonna lie, don't buy this. Do not waste your money buying this. What you gonna do with this? The same thing I did with it, put it away. It ain't do nothing with it besides look at it. So what I do is now, when I have glue that I don't have a top to it, storage. <laughs> that's storage, like that's what I do too. I mean, like honestly, you really can't do nothing with it, so just don't, please don't listen to people that say buy this. Do not buy this. Buy this. Get you something big. You need something spacious. You need, because you, you need to know how to do the liquid to powder ratio at the end of the day. You need to learn that. That is key factor when you're learning to do nails. Also, you want to get you a brush. This here is a size. This is a size 12. 
I suggest starting with a size eight or a size 10. size eight or size 10. Then you wanna get you some, a cuticle pusher. This pushes back your cuticles, but depending on how advanced you are when you're doing nails. I put all my drill bits in here, and this kind of goes with the scenario of the cuticle pusher. This is a cuticle round bit. This here, you basically go around your cuticle area with the cuticle round bit, and this also pushes your cuticle back. So it, not only does this prevent you from buying this, but it also saves you money every time because you're also getting in the prep game that you need to get in when using this. Also, you're gonna need a mandrel drill bit as well. Let me show you guys what that is. This is a mandrel drill bit. You're gonna need this when you're actually taking the shine off their nails now. When you're taking the shine off your client's nails, do not have that nail drill on eight. 10, 16, 20, 25, and 30. Have it on the lowest speed possible. I think mine go to a three. So use the lowest speed possible because you're only taking a shot at their nails. You're not filing their nails. Don't file their nails off. Next, if you want, you can get this here as well. This is a five in one drill bit here. A lot of people, a lot of nail techs use this because not only does it take acrylic down, but you can also seal the cuticle with this drill bit. Now, if you really want to take the acrylic down, I highly suggest you one of these. I have no idea what this drill bit is called, but it has like these, it has like these sharp things on it. So I highly suggest typing in Amazon and like taking off something brand new or something like that. Um, next. Oh, and I just have it stored in here. And also, let's just say if I need this, I can put barbicide in this as well to just seal my, to clean my cuticle drill bits and stuff off. So this is good. I got this from Walmart for like 99 cents. This is a Panda. I actually had these for like an entire year and a half now. Panda Sandy Band. This is 240 grit white. They just come in this little case like this here. You, this is what you use to take the shine off your client's nails. Next, you're gonna need is a is a cuticle nipper like this here. This cuticle nipper is self-explanatory. If they have old skin, dead skin around your cuticle area, when you're using that cuticle drill bit, it's gonna automatically come up, and you're gonna see, and you just wanna gently nip the cuticles. I'm actually gonna do a video on that on my channel, so you guys can know how to do it the proper way without actually getting your clients cuticles homing and um, bleeding and stuff. Next, you're gonna wanna get some primer. This is no lip primer. Now this, this is expensive. This is like 20 some dollars. Then you wanna get some of this. This is protein bond. This is expensive too. It's like $20 a bottle. Um, I ran out of dehydrator, but you can get dehydrated. You can get like sunny dehydrator. You can get any kind of dehydrator. Or you can use alcohol. It's up to you. Because alcohol dehydrates them as well too. So. You can get dehydrated as well. Next you're going to need is some taco. This is Beatles taco. There's my favorite brand. I prefer that brand. Not only are is that gel taco it's affordable, it's like $8. You know, you, you really can't beat it versus all these other brands that you have to pay $10, $15 for some gel powder taco. Then you're going to want to get some nail tips. These here, these are like the only nail tips I basically use. And let's see, I'm just going to pull out one for you guys. They're like this. They're like this long. Extra long nail tips. Now, if I have somebody want short nails, I will sometimes use this or I will go back to those regular original nail tips that I had. Most of the time, my, my nail tips are always clear. I ain't messing with no white nail tips. I don't have nothing against it, but I just find it pointless for me. I'm not using no white nail tips. Then I have, this is my glue. Honestly, you can get whatever kind of glue you want. I use my card glue right now. As you can see, this is the glue here. And I just have it in this little storage area. So just, it's all about really staying organized because honestly, as a nail tech, I used to be one of those nail techs that I would lose everything. When I say everything, 
I, I could literally be sitting over here looking for something and it'd be right there in my face. I couldn't find it. Like, that's how unorganized I used to be. Okay, y'all. Then you want to get you some of this. This is cuticle oil. This here is cruelty free, vegan, Peruvian free, and gluten free. So this has no toxic chemicals in it. And this version is called Naive. And I um, I don't know where I got this from, but I'll um, I'll leave it down in below in the description box when I just find it. But yeah, get you some of this. This is actually really good. I like the fact that it's cruelty free. We can get from it. No animals. Cool little animals over here. I think that's all that you need right now for a pretty nail. So moving on to bling. So when it's kind of bling now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get a container. Let me open this up so you guys can try to see. I just don't want my stuff to fall out because I ain't picking it up. I'll put it in the trash if I pick it up. So this is my bling box here. And then you want to get you some rhinestone glue this is beetles i actually like that rhinestone glue because that rhinestone glue it doesn't there to me i've never had experiences with issues or of the people who rhinestones coming off they rhinestones will stay as long as the months and then you want to get this here this is the wax pencil this is the wax pencil here so basically all you do is put the rhinestone glue on there pick it up it's on the surface pencil. Okay, guys, last thing on the mug, you mean you. When you want to do nail art or 3D, if you want to do 3D acrylic, you need to get a brush, a 3D pointer brush like this. Do you see how it's like pointy at the tip? You want to make sure that it's super pointy at the tip like this because when it's time to do the 3D flowers, you want to be able to press it in and get that pointy look at the end. So, that's that, but if you want to learn how to nail art, first thing you're going to need is a nail palette here. I'll be having these listed on my website soon. My website drops. This here is a small nail art brush. This one, this is my go-to nail art brush. If anybody knows how to get my brushes from being like stiff, you may need to write a comment. But this is one of my go-to brushes here. I got that from V2Gel off of Instagram. And then this is a Morocco, which used to be Beatles brush. So this is one of my other go-to brushes as well. And clearly you're gonna need some gel polish. I just chose black just to show you guys, but you need some gel polish. And if you guys are wanting to learn how to do nail art, I do offer nail art classes. So you just have to DM me on Instagram at elusive underscore nails if you wanna how to do nail art but what i say is watch my videos if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one tutorial let me know take your time when it comes to doing nail art because not everybody is going to catch on to nail art that fast not say you can't do it because you can do it it's just going to take some people a little bit more longer than the other yeah that's what a flower don't bloom over night baby so take your time all right that's the end of the month of video don't play with me Oh, motherfucker G. So, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Billionaire Bree, Beginner Nail Tech Special Edition. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, button, subscribe to the motherfucking channel. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.